Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. We are back in Dalinar. I spent about an hour and a half yesterday running around working on herbalism and doing some alchemy as you can see here. So I sold quite a bit of herbs, so we're up to 64 silver now. I did send myself a bag for my priest, so my apologies if that offends anybody, but I had the bag sitting there and we could really use it, so I sent it over. And I think we're going to have to actually spend some of our silver on more bags. Because while I was out farming herbs, uh, inventory space was a big problem for me. And so while I was out farming, I was able to complete the Felcone quest. And I completed this cooking quest by just killing whatever was in my way and looking around. I actually just completed these two quests naturally while farming herbs. So that was really cool. Uh, we are level 10, which means we've unlocked our talent points which I'm really excited to start to get into here. I've looked at these a little bit, but haven't really made a decision yet on which way I want to go. So if we look in the arms tree, we can improve our heroic strike. It's gonna reduce the ability's rage cost by one, which isn't a lot. And the max it's gonna be is to reduce it by three, which, you know, over time, you know, right now it costs 15, so we're not talking about a huge reduction, but it could help us. We could also increase the bleed damage by rend by 15%. This is like a flat damage increase by 15%. I think we grab this first. If we look in the fury tree, we can do booming voice to buff our battle shout and demoralizing shout. That'll increase the area of effect by 10% and the duration by 10%. Cruelty will increase our chance to get a critical strike with a melee weapon by 1% up to 5% if we invest full points into it. And that's just the chance to get a critical strike. That could be really valuable, but I don't know if we're going to go that route or if we're going to go more into protection because I do want to tank dungeons on this character. And while we can respec whenever we want, um, it costs gold. And... The more often you do it, the more gold it costs subsequently to reset your talent. So it's not like Retail WoW where we can have our immediate multi-talent uh, trees where we can just flop between. No, we have to actually go to our skill trainer and we have to pay to reset our talent points. So I want kind of a balanced build to, to go with something that's going to give us damage so that we can quickly kill mobs. But I want to have some protection talents in there too. Uh, simply increasing our defense skill by 10 if we put the 5 points into it could be huge. Same thing with shield specialization, increasing our chance to block attacks with a shield by 1%, so 5% at max. And it has a 20% chance to generate a rage point. I wonder if, that, if the 20% climbs to 100% with 5 points in it, we'd have to see. I think right off the bat we're going to go with improved rend. Because we're always going to rend, whether we're tanking or DPSing. So we're going to take improved rend. And that's our first talent point. Pretty exciting. Uh, we have to turn in these three quests that we have completed here. And we'll see if there are any follow-ups or if we're going somewhere else. I am on. Let's see, at first the reports of crazed furball attacks were dismissed. Who could have thought that the peace-loving bear men would turn to mindless rage? Yet another of the problems that plagues us here in our new home. Shando Stormrage never returned and the druids were in disarray. And to this day we still do not know what became of him. With Lafurian missing, Arc Druid, Arc Druid Fandrar Straghelm took over the leadership of the druids convincing the Circle of Ancients in Dark Shore that it was time for our people to rebuild, and that it was time for our people to regain their immortality. With the approval of the Circle, Straghelm and the most powerful druids grew Teldrassil, the new world tree. All was not well with Teldrassil, however. Straghelm's carefully made plans for the new world tree had borne out as he had hoped, but there was one small problem. A problem to which many of the troubles on Teldrassil may be attributed. However, I will not get into that yet. You must visit the last Moonwell, to the northwest in the Oracle Glade. Under the boughs of the Oracle Tree lies the first and most powerful of our wells. Retrieve a file of its water and return to me. 
All right. Bam, bam. So this is cool because we're learning the entire history of Teldrassil and how it was made and how it was kind of never meant to be made. And there are problems with it. And this is lore that I didn't really know about Teldrassil, uh, despite playing the game for 14 years. Hello. Let's see. Uh, we did this cooking recipe, uh, just the spider legs while I was out farming my herbs. Remember the balance. I wish you to develop an understanding and strong empathy for the living forest. Okay. Good luck. And so we got some food there and a recipe, which we need 10 cooking to achieve. Uh, I don't ha ooh, I don't have any meat. Although I think I've sold some eggs, so we'll have to watch out for that. The owls around here drop eggs. And then we should have a f the falcon turn in. Is it up this way? So these quests are both green as we're turning them in, which is good. That means we're in good shape level-wise to turn these in and be ready to move on to the next zone. Let's see if this turns in, in here. I'm still so used to Retail WoW that I'll click on the quest over here on the right-hand side and expect it to open. Oh, we have a new quest to pick up over here. That's interesting, but this one doesn't turn in, so let's grab this quest. How may I help? Now the time has come to save the druids of the Talan. If we fail now, they will be forever lost in sleep. So this is a follow-up to the cave that we were in, where we collected those four items and had to farm the shaman. And then we took out Rageclaw. I shall prepare the relics of Wakening and perform the ritual. For my work to take effect, the cursed beast responsible for this horrific situation must be slain. Only then will the ritual be complete. It was the Ursul Mauler who meddled with our brethren's calling, and it was Ursul the Mauler who must now pay so they could be freed. Travel the Gnarlpine Hold in the southwest and slay him. So we're looking for Ursul the Mauler. Southwest. They're over here. And yeah, I've encountered them a few times. I was just doing kind of a circuit while I was herbing. Herbing? Is that proper? So this definitely doesn't turn in here. Which means it's probably out here to the east. Check down the roadways. Oh, we need to give it to Zen. Okay, yeah, he's out here. This is hopefully going to get rid of this guy. I wonder if it's going to make us fight him. There's the marker on the mini-map. Alright, Zen. Uh, our relationship is now terminated. Ah, what a sweet night elf. I knew you would come in handy. So we turned him into a rabbit. Or no, a frog. A rabbit. Uh, is that it? Quest completed. He just stays a, a rabbit, or <laughs> he's going to turn into a rabbit one day, but right now he's a frog. He's going to stay a frog forever. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, we need Ursul, and we need to go to the other moon well, which I believe is kind of in the same area. Um, or no, it could be up here. We haven't been up here we know that there are, are harpies up here, but this will be the first quest sending us up that way. So how do we approach this? Let's swing down here. And we will look for the named Ursul the Mauler. 
Let's see if we can find a, qu a group that's waiting for him to spawn, or maybe it'll be empty and we'll be able to tag it on our own. And along the way, we'll pick up any herbs. That guy appeared quite quickly. I need to think about farming these owls for eggs to level up our cooking. Oh, somebody just grabbed that. Oh, no, they didn't. Where is it? Aha. You have to actually look for the herbs, like all the other items that you're picking up. Uh, they're not illuminated until you hover over them. And they definitely don't sparkle. Because that would just be weird. Alright, we'll fight. We'll throw down. That's fine. It's going to spare you. Uh, since we are quite a higher level now. Still getting some experience for him, though. Uh, with a five level difference, it's pretty good. We do have our Bushwood Blade, plus one stamina sword, 11 to 21 damage, 5.3 damage per second, three speed. So that's an upgrade over what we had before, which I believe we had a dagger equipped for a minute. Because it's better than what we had, damage-wise. Even though he's green, he'd still definitely aggro if I walk in front of him without just pulling him. And so now we have uh, some alchemy going on. So we have our lesser armor potion, increase armor by 50. We have uh, Lion's Strength Elixir, which we can pop that on as well, so we can have all these active. So this is going to increase our strength by 4 for an hour, and then we have 10 healing potions. Which, as we've seen, are going to come in handy, especially as a warrior. So I've gone ahead and I've bound them to one of my mouse keys, and to, well, and to F2 as well. So that I can pop it really easily if we get into a situation or if we just plan on using it, which it's usually better to plan those pulls. I had thought these guys were down here. This becomes a long search, we'll, we'll edit some of this out. We can collect all the herbs in this zone now. We're up to 56. Actually, we're going to need to, once we get closer to 75, we'll need to train again for the next rank. Since I was selling some of our herbs for some easy silver, we're not quite at that level with our alchemy yet, but we will be. Okay, so here are some Gnarlpine Warriors. Thinking we need to still, yeah, I mean, they could be, he could be south, right over here, southwest, so he could be anywhere around here. Not ready yet. I can't do that yet. Slow their attack speed with, um, Thunderclap. Looks like we have some help. But I think our Thunderclap tagged it. getting some pretty big hits on these guys because they are such a lower level than us. I could run out and collect this peace bloom, but I could risk Missing the mob. If he's here, we don't know that he's right here. He could be... He could be anywhere, I suppose. Stay here another minute or so. If he is in this camp, he should spawn any second, I would think. Ever Especially as these are respawning. Malachite. That could vendor. 
I haven't checked the auction house yet. I don't know if people are high enough level yet um, for there to be much worth of putting anything on the auction house. Today is September 2nd, 2019. So we are, you know, week out from launch. And there are definitely people who are max level. So, it could be worth uh, looking at putting some stuff up on the auction house now that people might be going back and leveling professions that they didn't do while speed leveling. Hang on to that Malachite and check out the auction house. I guess with level scaling, when you level a character these days in retail, you don't really see green mobs because it's all scaling to you. You don't get to a point where you're really out-leveled. If you're following the recommendations of the zone levels, at least. I don't think this guy is going to be in this camp. I think he would have respawned, so we will possibly look elsewhere. Now, normally I wouldn't charge in like this, but oh, he's gonna pull him off me. But with potions, I feel a little bit more confident. Have to remember to keep rend up since we did spend our talent point on increased rend damage. Inventory is full already. Even with our additional bag, we just can't keep inventory space. I did mean to buy additional bags. I should have done that before we left, so that is my fault. Take full responsibility for the current inventory space deficit. Well, if I'm being smart and using my map, this area is marked as Gnarlpine Hold, which is what it says in the quest. So I'd bet, thinking with classic goggles on here, that he's probably going to just be way deep in the back of this area. Because, you know, that's probably where you'd put a name guy. If this is all Gnarlpine Hold down here, and we're talking southwest, maybe he's tucked back in the southwest corner. We'll see. This is earth roots. Yeah, let's push on this way and see. We're looking at higher level mobs, level eight, so that's promising. We'll take it. Inventory is full. Our inventory is most definitely absolutely full. It is. Um, and we're going to have to do something about that very soon. I haven't seen any furball oaks. Uh, well, as soon as I say that, right? Just be patient. Just be patient. I bet he's over here. Uh, Avenger. Ooh, Pathfinder right here. Let's take care of this guy. And then maybe we'll do a slash target. Let's see if we can at least know if he's up in the area. He could be back here. Oh, they might have just pulled them. Oh, that's an Avenger. Although they didn't. Perfect, perfect. So in this situation, it's going to be better to group up. Because all we need is kill credit. And even if he had a head, we've already learned that we could all loot the head. Had he a head, it would be thrice heads. 
I don't know why they have marks above their heads, but okay. Let's grab some more of these guys. Oh, here he is. I feel super confident right now, guys. Super, super overconfident. Let's get this guy down, firstly. And then we'll go for Ursul here. Make sure everybody's got a nice rend on them. We're gonna be okay. Oh no, kite! <laughs> kite! Oh, we got him. <laughs> it was fun. It wasn't smart, but sometimes you go for fun over smarts. We might as well get a couple more while we're grouped up, eh? Let's do it. One of you is a druid, yep, yeah, and a priest. Oh good, two healers. That's why we lived. Thank you guys. Alright. We'll fight our way back out on our own. Uh, we need to fill the file. Crown of Earth. It must be north, so. We'll just head north. Because it will either be here or it will be here. Is what I'm thinking. Yes, of course. We really would have hearth if I hadn't used it after farming earlier. Then we really would have hearth just now. And it would have been awesome because we would have been able to empty our bags. But now we're going to hang on to this stuff a little longer unless something really interesting drops and I'll be regretful the entire way. I could run back. This is true. All right, level 11. Let's check it out. I say we just keep going into Ren for now and work on that. That's probably gonna be our best bet. Is he gonna pull? Yes, he is. I'm not sure at what level we can do the first dungeon on the Alliance side. I know Horde side we'd be doing Ragefire Chasm at like level 15, possibly lower level than that, possibly level 13. Um, but Alliance, I know Deadmines is like level 19 to level 22. And then Wailing Caverns is level like 18 to 23, maybe. If I'm remembering those correctly from Manila, which I may not be. So maybe we're talking like lower 20s. We'll be doing our first dungeons. I'm really excited to get into the dungeon content and start tanking. It's definitely the role. I mean, I haven't had a lot of fun as a healer. So primarily I've healed. When we're talking about raiding, I've healed the Sons uh, Wrath of the Lich King on a holy... Paladin. But the first warrior I got the 60 was a Tauren tank. Tauren warrior. And so that role is kind of my first love. It's just throughout the years I've played with people who prefer to tank so I just kind of learned to heal and I've learned to love that kind of reactionary gameplay. But I'm very excited to tank on this character in Classic. And we'll make sure we Sunder five times. And all that good jazz. 
So these are the pools. Oh, hello, Night Saber. How are you? Crown, crown of Earth. This is not the Crown of Earth, so... Under the boughs of the Oracle Tree. So we're going up there, to the Oracle Glade it is. We could skip into Darnassus really fast. I've been there, clearly. And we can find a vendor to drop some of our items on. That would be smart. Alright, here's some vendors. Let's drop some of our stuff off. Owl idea. Trainer. Okay. It's a lot of silver, but we can have an owl if we want. Sell everything we don't need. We're gonna sell our linen for now. Because bag space and we want silver. The Malachite, I said I'd hold on to. Um, apples, let's get rid of them. Uh, the kebabs we can keep because we don't have any other food on us. I just need more bags, basically. Let's sell the bean soup. And the mushroom cap. And the malachite for now. I'll check the auction house out and see if it's worth holding on to things like that and letting them eat up bag space or not right now. It'll all depend on the market. Goddess. You have a quest, um, strangely enough. Be with you. Nessa Shadow Song, a friend of mine, Nessa Shadow Song, is a fishing merchant in Rutheran Village. She needs a parcel taken to Darkshore and is looking for someone to help her. If you're interested, then re to reach Nessa, you must take the portal in Darnassus to Rutheran Village. You'll find the portal west of the Temple Gardens. So this will take us into Darkshore, which is, I think, going to flow and be the next area from here. And we could do that. I was also thinking, though, that I would do some quests in Westfall, take the boat over to Stormwind, because we're going to need to do quests in multiple zones that are on the same level. Otherwise, we're going to run out of quests to do at our level, and that's just going to be more grinding, which could be fine. But I think it'd be more interesting to see the questing content, at least for me personally. And so I was thinking we'd head to Westfall, do some of the intro quests there, because I'm fairly certain I know where to pick them up. And then we could, once we gain a level or so, we can come back here, and we can move into Darkshore. And that way we won't run out of quests in Darkshore before we are um, at level to go to the next zone. So it kind of keeps us where we need to be if we go into an equivalent zone and quest there a little bit. All right. So now, with empty bags, we can continue north, up into the Oracle Glade. It's likely we're going to fight our way through some of these harpies. On our way north here. Oh, look at that. A battered chest. We have a little bit of bag space. Two more potions, some copper, and a bow, so some good stuff to vendor. Uh, potions we could definitely take, although we're going to be making plenty. But yeah, that's great. Pretty active out here in the Night Elf starting area for 12.50 p.m. Central Standard Time on Labor Day. Pretty cool. Uh, the human areas are still the most active. Alright, we'll help you out. Sorceress, uh, what's she gonna cast? Anything? Chilled, movement slowed by 30%. And time between attacks increased by 25%. Yeah, that hurts. Our white swing accounts for a lot of our damage. 
So you slow that main swing down by 30%. And you're going to lose quite a bit of damage over time. As a melee class. There's a quest to pick up over here at the Moonwell. So we'll fill the file and we will check out the quests. Alright, and what does uh, Sentinel Arnia Cloudbreak have for us? I was dispatched with a small group of sentinels here to protect the oracle tree from the harpies that have made nests all around the glade. Little by little we are trying to push them back. When the oracle tree attempted to send a runner to Darnassus with a report, the messenger was attacked and killed by a group of harpies. If you feel up to the task, go to their nest, slay them, and return their belts to me as proof of your deeds. Okay, so we're gonna go acquire six blood feather belts. Good luck, friend. Well, but now we know why there are harpies out here. Uh, for us to combat. Of course, now we're just seeing a bunch of spiders. All right. We don't need spiders. And I hate spiders. But they're kind of everywhere, and they kind of blend in, and that makes them even more creepy. That they just tend to blend in. I'm out of here. kind of like to get my other potions going so right now we have strength is still up I'd love to get uh, defense up and I'll just try to keep those running because I, uh, they're just a value add here we go Track this. So these things just attack fast. It would probably suck to be a caster and have these things right in your face hitting you this quickly because it would just be knocking your cast timer way back. And you should, it'd probably kill you pretty quickly if you pulled more than one of them if, and you were a caster wearing cloth. Uh, we are a little bit more durable, thankfully. So, there's that. This may be uh, an incredibly low drop rate, we'll see. pull more than one but without a lot of AoE besides Thunderclap I don't know that it's really worth it. Probably just take more damage and end up having more downtime between fights. Now if I was in a group as you've seen I'll pull a lot more. Uh, we need that. We need that quest item. Um, let's make some room for it. We're gonna throw out this cracked bill and we're gonna make sure we grab that and that should at least stack. And I probably should have looked for a bag vendor while we were in Darnassus. But I didn't, so here we are. Let's slow their attacks down a bit. That will just be a little bit less damage coming in. I should have thrown Rend up on her right away. And we could have been dealing damage to her that whole time. Don't remind me. Story of my life, man. It's not a terrible problem to have, but it is a pretty big problem. If 
feel like we're missing a lot. Perry. Fireball here. We don't have an interrupt yet. Um, at least that we've trained, we really do need to go back also and check the trainer. I think it might be time to eat some of these uh, kebabs here. Spider kebabs. Yeah, we did. Uh, that recipe was with spider legs. What is more delicious than spider leg kebab, guys? I mean, come on. And I saw these. I had to see these suckers up close and personal and they were hairy. So I don't know if I'd be eating Kaldori spider kebabs, but our night elf seems to love it, so... I guess you just learn to eat what's in your ecosystem. Even if what's in your ecosystem is giant hairy spiders. Need more rage. Oh no, this could be disastrous. Uh, I think we're okay, we, we have a potion. The great thing is, like, just the rage generation, like, we, the more we get hit, the more potential damage output we have with heroic strikes, so... Within a certain threshold, it is maybe beneficial to pull more and get attacked more. But without a self-heal, that could just... Oh, hi, you're running off. Uh, without a self-heal, that could just slow us down between pulls. Alright. Five out of six. This is not bad for a drop rate. I feel like we're doing pretty good. See how, see how much that impacted us killing her? How much our attack speed being slowed down by 25%? Um, it took much longer to take her out and we took a lot more damage. So little debuffs like that that these random creatures do, they're very impactful on combat and it makes it a little bit more challenging and should make you more apprehensive about pulling more than one or two and kind of finding out what, what you can handle and Use a little bit of tactics with your potions and items. And it helps to have an understanding more of what the monster is going to do. Like, as a caster, you would need to recognize pretty quick that you don't want these guys getting close because of how quickly they're going to knock back your cast bar. So we're done with that one. That's great. Uh, now, is she going to be waiting back up there at the moon pool for us to turn this in? I'm going to assume yes. And so actually we probably could have been heading up there. We'll probably have to fight some on our way back for turn-in. I am honored. Their slashing talons and piercing beaks may prove a difficult match for your own abilities. No, they, we're good, actually. It's good. I am impressed by what you have accomplished here in so short a time. Would that I could ask you to remain here and assist me with my duties, but I know in my heart that greater tasks lie ahead of you. I have noticed the oracle tree has just shed a piece of its bark. No doubt it has a task that it wishes completed. You should speak with it. Okay, I'll speak with it. We're going to take the mail belt, 61 armor. That's better upgrade than the cape. The forest whispers of your feats of valor. As I felt the harpies forced from their nest, a greater calm spread across the forest, its creatures once again feeling safe. I have feared sending another messenger to the Arch Druid, but I know that you will see my message safely to him. Deliver this to him and know that the forest will see you safely along its paths to the Forest of Stone. To the Forest of Stone. Deliver the Oracle's trees, report to Arch Druid Thandral, String Straghelm in Darnassus. Okay. Ha! We can we could do that for you. Just give us a sec to take care of our embarrassing our embarrassing inventory situation. How may I help? What's more embarrassing than trying to accept a quest from somebody and then your inventory is full and it just rejects the item back to the <laughs> NPC? What's more embarrassing than that, guys? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. So we need to go to Darnassus. That's fine. We could. We're just gonna have to run there because we are still on cooldown there. And then Crown of Earth, though, that is gonna go back to, 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 uh, Dalinar. 
So by the time we do the turn into Darnassus, we should be ready to hearth back Dalinar and turn that last one in. We'll see if it works out that way. And then we have Ursul the Mauler as well. But this one's green, so we're definitely going to go down to Darnassus and do this one first. We don't want to out-level a turn in. That'd be awful. So it would be if, if we waited and waited and waited to turn in a quest and we turned in all these other quests and did more, this could eventually turn gray. And we would be too high of a level to gain any, if, if any experience, it would be very little experience at all. So you don't want that to happen. Don't let it sit in your log. So we need to get back to the Cenarian Enclave. It's going to be way back here, which will give us a chance to see quite a bit of Darnassus. But I think the first thing we're going to see is probably going to be our vendor friends right up front here. Did a little bit of alchemy and cleared out some of our bag space. We need to equip that, and then we can sell this. Okay, well, maybe that's as good as we can do right now. I feel like I need everything else that I have. General goods, you wouldn't happen to have bags, would you? Yeah, you do. 8 slot bag, mm, 25 silver, that seems like a lot. If we do, we can do 3 of these for 15. L let's do that for now. Good luck, friend. This is going to help quite a bit, I think. And we'll definitely make more silver as a result of this, because we'll be able to pick up more and vendor it. All right, let's have a look around. Very cool. Uh, this is the bank. We don't have a bank slot yet, but it will be something we will need to get when we have the silver to afford it. Which might not be for a little while. Ah, uh, here we go. Relian Greenspire. We were looking for you. Aha, a timberling seed. I wanted to try growing one of these to help Denalin with his studies, but I'm afraid I've discovered that a corruption has grown in many of the timberlings, and seeds from many such creatures carry their parents' taint. They are beyond my talents to repair. Denalon is very skilled with things that grow. He may find a cure for future timberlings. He may be their only hope. There is a male malevolence growing in the timberlings. We are trying to find the source, but until we do, in order to keep Teldrassil safe, we must cut down the timberlings who are beyond help. Those that wander Wellspring Lake in northern Teldrassil are the most tainted. They must be removed. Destroying the timberlings you find there and, and destroy the timberlings you find there and gather the mossy tumors growing upon them. Bring the tumors to me so that they may be burned. Uh, we need to go uh, slay timberlings and bring them bring him five mossy tumors. We can do that. Yeah, well. Let's take a look. So it's an at-level quest. And they're in the north? Okay. Yeah. Definitely, we could definitely do that. I think first, let's go ahead and hearth back. Oh, it's not ready yet. Two seconds. One second. 
recharging. It's still recharging. There we go. Let's hearth back to Dalin Dalinar. And we'll turn these in. And then I think that might be a good time to take a little break. And then we'll know what we'll have to work on when we come back. And we'll see if we get any follow-ups from these or if these chains start to end. Prompting us to maybe go on to Darkshore. We already have the one breadcrumb into Darkshore. And I do plan to do some quests in the beginning of Westfall, because I think that'd be cool. And it will keep us at the leveling pace we need to be. To be in the presence of the Oracle Tree, it is almost to feel wisdom take form. Let me continue the telling. With Teldrassil grown, the Arc Druid approached the dragons for their blessings, and the dragons had placed upon Nordrassil in ancient times. But Nor Nazdormu, Lord of Time, refused to give his blessing, chiding the Druid for his arrogance. In agreement with Nazdormu, Alexstrasza also refused Straghelm, and without her blessing, Teldrassil's growth has been flawed and unpredictable. So he couldn't get the dragon's blessings. Some of them did not want the tree created. And that is what's wrong with Teldrassil. Nazdormu. Got it. It's like the words that you only ever read and you have no reason to really say out loud until you do and you realize that they're hard to pronounce. What brings you here? So we need to actually turn that in. Without the blessings of Alexstrasza, the life binder, and Nazdormu, the timeless, Teldrassil's growth has not been without flaw. Strange beasts have been reported arising from the very ground of the tree and crazed furbolgs attack passing travelers. I can only hope that the solution the Archdruid is looking for will be found quickly. I will pour all the files you brought into the vessel for you to deliver to Darnassus. Bring it to Fandral Straghelm. You will find him in the Druid Grove. So we're going back to Darnassus, guys. Uh, and we'll get a two-handed mace, which would be something we could train the skill. We don't have the skill currently. But at some point we can try out a two-hander, either a sword or a mace. Possibly an axe. We'll need to train those weapon skills at a weapon trainer. But we'll definitely do that. And let's go ahead... Oh, that's not the way. I would love that peace bloom, but I really want to get the quest turns in. And we have another quest to pick up here. Oh, that's our warrior trainer, so we might want to check that out. Hello. Alinaria. Greetings, warrior. Your skill grows, but there is more to your profession than you may believe. To further progress, you must soon find a teacher. The warrior Alinaria Al dwells in Darnassus at the warrior's terrace. She can instruct you. Don't so we have to meet our next trainer. Let's see... What we have here, we definitely need the next rank of Rend. Let's grab that. At 20, we can train Dual Wield. That would be interesting to try out. And that's all we can grab for now. Oh, wait. Blood Rage. Generates 10 Rage at the cost of health, and then generates an additional 10 Rage over 10 seconds. The Warrior is considered in combat for the duration. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, we can definitely play with that. There will be times we'll need more rage. We can give up some health for it, knowing we can potion the health back if we absolutely need it. Be careful. So we want Rend rank 2 on our bar. We want to go ahead and we'll... We'll mess with Blood Rage and see if it's useful. We haven't had too many rage problems yet, but I know we eventually will. So it will probably come in handy in the future. Assist you. you have proven yourself a most worthy and able warrior, a night elf who follows the path of honor as sure as you do is as sh as you do is certain to find great glory in this world. Got it. May the forest spirits protect you wherever your travels may take you. We can get a one hand mace, which is not as good as the Bushwood Blade, but we could level up our mace Goodbye. skill. So I'll probably run around and swing at monsters with this. Oh, look at that. Look at that mace. Yeah, that's intimidating. Okay. Yeah, uh, we want to level that up because we want to keep all of our skills up to par if we can. So if we do find something that's an actual upgrade, we can equip it. 
without too much problem and actually start using it. So I'll do that while I get some more herbs. I think this is a good place to take a break. And when we come back, we'll do mossy tumors. And then we know we're headed back to Darnassus after we do that to do basically these three quests that we have here. So should be interesting. And then we might be moving on to a new area. So that will be fun as well. I'm really having a great time with this. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Any tips if you're having your own playthroughs of the game. Any cool things you've experienced or things you've run into that you think deserve comment. I'd love to hear about your playthroughs. Until next time, take care and wish me luck.